Hey Horror fans, welcome back to Room 237, and it turns out I had a little bit more time than I thought. So I figured why not do just a random collection video. Um, I usually like to wait till I have 20, 25, or 30 examples of something before I do a collection video. Um, a lot of these have already been in a collection video together. But uh, my last video was my update of Italian and Italian Giallo movies. And so I... I think I noticed a couple of them were released by my favorite uh, a distribution company, which is Blue Underground. They do an excellent job with their Italian slasher exploitation 70s and 80s uh, uh, releases. <laughs> and when I first started collecting Italian films, I noticed most of them had this Blue Underground logo. And then I was buying slasher films, more exploitation films. I noticed they all were put out through Blue Underground. And still to this day, if Blue Underground is an option, I choose that over anything else. Arrow or uh, Vinegar Syndrome, which Blue Underground is my favorite. And then I'd probably say Arrow, then Vinegar Syndrome or Severin. Probably those two tied. I don't count Criterion, I think that's something completely different. So this is just a collection of everything I have by Blue Underground. The only one that's not here, that's on its way, would be their release of Seven Deaths and a Cat's Eye. So I don't have that one yet. But this is everything I have from Italian films to American, to everything Blue Underground that I have. Now, the ones you would have seen in my last video would be the Blu-rays of Argento's Deep Red and the Blu-ray for Strip Nude for Your Killer. And many of these I've already reviewed. I've probably already reviewed all but four or five of them. But I love this company so much and I just... I'm surprised I haven't done this already. So I have around 25. I think I have 25. So get down to it. Uh, from Falchi, we got uh, the New York Ripper. And also, I guess this makes sense since I'll be doing an Italian uh, marathon coming up. This can show you ones I've already done and ones that you can go look for that I've reviewed. And also kind of help set the vibe, like the Italian and jail vibe, I guess. So we have Fault Trees, Ultra Sleazy, New York Ripper. <clears throat> House by the Cemetery. I know there's another Blue Underground version of this. This is just a cheap old one I bought years ago. Most of these I bought probably around eight or nine years ago. Fault Trees, Black Cat. City of the Living Dead. Zombie. Can't go wrong with Blue Underground Zombie. I think this was the first Blue Underground uh, release that I ever bought. Oh, another favorite I have would probably be Grindhouse. I don't think they have too many. I have five through a, a Grindhouse release because I, I have all their posters hanging up. But anyway, so Zombie. Don't Torture a Duckling. And then from Lamberto Bava, we have a Blade a Blade in the Dark. I have reviewed this. I don't love it as much as everyone else. Maybe I need to give it another look. Uh, I don't know. This was the last Italian film that I reviewed. Lamberto Bava's first film. Uh, macabre. This is one that I was going to do last October, but I'll save it for this coming October, as it is a anthology from both Argento and George Romero, Two Evil Eyes. And speaking of Argento, we have Inferno. I used to have the Blue Underground release of Suspiria, which, which one do I have now? I have, 
uh, Synapse. Maybe it was the Synapse uh, DVD. Now I have the Blu-ray. But anyway. Bird with the crystal plumage. And I just... You know, I, I love their presentation. I've already gone through a bunch of these, but... You know, I like their clear cases. They always have artwork on the inside. A lot of them are two-disc. Come with fairly decent features. Uh, this was another one of the first ones I got, along with Zombie. And then with this one, I bought this shortly after Zombie. This is one of the first Jallos I've ever seen. Torso. And then, I actually meant to show these first because these are non-Italian, non-Jallo. But one of my all-time favorite slasher films, uh, Maniac. And I guess this one's okay that it's in a black case because there's no artwork on the inside, but the Prowler. Toolbox Murders, very underrated film. I was actually very positive in my uh, review for this. I was very surprised by it. I really enjoyed Toolbox Murders. I'm not sure what other releases there are for this, but of course, uh, I drew I direct recommend uh, Blue Underground. Sorry I'm stuttering so much. This is what happens when I go a while without making a video. Uh, this one, according to the uh, booklets that these come with, with the little catalog, which I have as a bookmark for these big Italian books that I'll be talking about, um, that I actually started um, to check some off. I think this one's out of print, but it is the two-disc slipcase of Dead and Buried. Which, I haven't seen this in years. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely give this another look. But yeah, uh, I think this version is out of print, but I, I could be wrong. And then this is another one that I haven't seen in years, years and years. Like, this one I definitely have to give a watch again. And it's Bob Clark, uh, Death Dream. And then I keep forgetting that this is Blue Underground. I only know because of the uh, number on the disc, but Snuff, because yeah, it doesn't say Blue Underground anywhere. Not a fan of this film at all. Wasn't very positive in my... I think that was... I think this was my first big rant that I ever did on this channel. But anyway. Uh, back into Italian films. This was in my last video. My update. I just picked this up. I have not watched it yet. But uh, Killer Nun. And this is one that... I have had for years. I did have this when I did my Jalla Marathon two years ago, but I don't know why I never got around to this. And it's actually kind of revered. Like a lot of people who are a fan of Jalla like this film. The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. Long title. Remember this being a very different Jalla, like more blackmail than murder, kind of. I don't remember it thing about this film. So, good thing I'm doing another Jello marathon. And then the rest of these I've, I've reviewed. Black Belly of the Tarantula. This one I'm not as big a fan of as everyone else is as well, but Umberto Lenzi's Nightmare City, which I bought this as part of my zombie collection, not an Italian collection. Uh, Night Train Murders, also known as its dozen or more Last House on the Left ripoff names. I liked it the first time I saw it, second time around, not so much. And, and the last one I have, this is a slasher. It's in these books that I have about Giallo films, 
People call it a giallo. We know who the killer is in the first 10 minutes or so. So I don't see how stage fright. I like this movie for the kills. That's about it. I do like that artwork better, but it has its fan base, stage fright, but all right. So even though this is almost like a sequel to my uh, Italian collection video that I did two years ago, with the exception of these four films, basically, or hold on, with the exception of these five films, essentially, the other 20 are all Italian that I've shared before, more or less, but, so yeah, I have reviewed pretty much all these. As far as the Italian films go, uh, Two Evil Eyes will be in October. Um, Strip Nude for Your Killer, uh, a Killer Nun, and uh, Forbidden Photos. Those are all ones that will be coming up in the next marathon. All the other Italian films, let me get all of them here. I have reviewed all these already, so please go to my Italian playlist and check these out. I have started a separate playlist for just Giallo films. But yeah, if you're a collector and you want to start getting into Giallo, slasher, exploitation, more underground, 60s, 70s and 80s, especially 70s and 80s, if you come across a blue underground version, it's definitely worth picking up. This, I actually recommend over all, all else. I know people will want to get Arrow because it's like 4K and people got to have the best of everything, but me personally, you can't go wrong with Blue Underground. It's my favorite uh, distribution company. I will always pick Blue Underground over uh, of any other company. I, I, I might even spend extra <laughs> A little extra to get Blue Underground over Arrow or Bigger Syndrome or Severin, whichever. Maybe it's because it, it was the first one I noticed when I first started collecting these kinds of movies. That could be why, but I really do like the care and the presentation that they put in everything. So, so that's what I have so far as I tackle my uh, Jello wish list. Of course, I'll be coming across more, and I'll do more update videos, and maybe I'll do another Blue Underground collection video uh, sometime in the future. But for now, that's what I have. Uh, let me know how many Blue Underground DVDs and Blu-rays you have, where it stands with you, as far as like if you do have favorite uh, uh, distribution companies where you prefer it when you first discover Blue Underground, and also let me know which Blue Underground release is your favorite. And if there isn't a Blue Underground release of a film, which one would you like to see them, them do? But that's my collection of my favorite uh, DVD Blu-ray company. And, uh, uh, I sound like shit tonight. I don't know why I keep stuttering and bleh, so whatever. I uh, thank you for watching.